on guys so I'm sure you can tell by the title and you're probably a little confused honestly but this right here I believe is the coolest part about this truck but I actually washed it yesterday and it actually cleaned up really good so I'm gonna flip the camera around show you the truck right now and then we'll kind of get into what this whole video is about So this is the original window sticker for this truck. That's incredible. I think that is so cool. So I'm sure I've uh, put the title as something about this truck would cost you $45,000 new, something like that. Well, we'll just jump straight to the price. So this truck was originally a two uh, twenty thousand eight ninety six. That's the original before options and everything, and then after options we got eight thousand two hundred. So we got down here to total after everything of twenty nine thousand nineteen dollars and five cents, and this is in nineteen ninety seven. So if you do the um, equation or the uh, you know, the currency has changed throughout time. So if you were to equate money from 1997 to today's standard, this truck would cost you $45,000. If you bought it for sticker price, 29 grand in 1997 equates to about $45,000 in 2018. So what's crazy, and I guess it all kind of makes sense because where this truck is nowhere near as nice and refined and gives you half as many options as like my 2018 does it's basically the same thing just 20 years down the road and my truck msrp'd for 49 and i didn't pay anywhere near that but the sticker on it i guess i should have brought the window sticker on here so i got my 2018 as well out here just to do a little comparison i think it'd be pretty cool obviously we got some size difference but honestly the I don't know how much more is on here. All this government crap seems like what's taking up a lot of this. But so 1997 4x4 Sierra extended cab, short wheelbase. I believe, I would imagine that's what that is. Don't know what the PU's for. I'm sure it's something easy that I just don't know. 255 horsepower Vortec 5.7 four speed with overdrive, Summit White. Same as the 18 right there. Probably just the name's the same. Um, interior is gray custom cloth. So you can pause it right here and see if you want to see the standard equipment. I'm not going to read all that off just because that is standard equipment. So we go down here. We got our fuel economy, 13 and 17. So surprisingly enough, we went from 1997 to 2018 and uh, we're rocking a solid 16 and 22. So honestly, not that big of a difference. You would think it would be more, especially they're around town and only went three miles per gallon up. But, uh, you know, apparently not. This actually gets a little more specific. It says 11 to 15 in the city. So it's 13 average and then 14 to 20 on the highway. I don't think, unless I'm just overlooking it, they don't break it down on here, but I'm sure it's, these are just middle numbers as well. So I guess it's better than it might seem actually. Okay, so like I said, price 29,000. We go over here, my 2018 MSRP after options was 48,920. So this one in today's currency would be 45 grand, judged off of 29. This one is 48,920. Standard was 44. So this one, in 2018 would cost if you went off msrp the base price of this truck my 2018 before options that's pretty cool Let's check out the warranty right here this is a three-year 36,000 mile limited bumper to bumper warranty commitment plus privileges courtesy transportation 24-hour roadside assistant customer assistance so right here on 2018 we got a three-year 36,000 bumper to bumper warranty same thing as the 97 except for this one does not say anything about limited bumper to bumper this just says limit uh this just says warranty 
Um, then we got a five year, 60,000 mile powertrain limited warranty. Of course they have limited because they, you know, if you don't do your oil changes or something, they'll get you on that and not pay for it. Courtesy transportation. And uh, that's all it says on here. So probably basically the exact same warranty type deal on both trucks, except for this, the 97 did not come with a powertrain extended past the bumper to bumper warranty, whereas the 2018 does. All right, so let's go over the options on the 97. So it says marketing option per package. Minimum purchase, it's SLE decor, includes the following deluxe front appearance package, power door locks and windows, leather steering wheel, air conditioned front, tilted wheel and speed control, wide side body, not sure about that. AM FM stereo cassette, theft lock, auto tone control, seek scan, and clock. That's a $3,450 for $3,454 package right there, right off the bat. All right, so next we got the 255 horsepower Vortec 5.7 V8 engine. That was a $1,200 $1, option right there. Four speed auto trans with overdrive was a $1,000 option. An electric, uh, electric, electronic control door side cargo hinge. Okay, that's for the third door. Four hundred twenty dollars for that third door. Wow. Uh, reclining back seats. Two hundred seventy. Off road chassis equip package. Two seventy as well. I got those swapped. Um, locking rear differential, 252, cast wheels, 250, six-way power adjustable seats, 240, heavy-duty trailering equipment, 164 if I'm on the right column, remote keyless entry, 140, rear axle ratio, 373, 135, deep tinted glass, $100 option, uh, bigger wheels and tires, $100 a piece, or 100 for the front hunter for the back i believe that's right yeah it's got a transmission oil cooler that was a 96 dollar option here's another tire i'm not sure high capacity air cleaner 25 dollars wow um electric uh remote condition mirrors no charge folding rear seat no charge emission something no charge Tow rating, 6,200 pounds, no charge. Enhanced performance speakers, no charge. Step bumper, no charge. License plate mount, no charge. And solid color, no charge. So that's pretty cool. Got quite the options. And that's what brings your total up here to 29,000. So let's look at this. Maximum tow rating for the vehicle is 6,500 pounds. Let's go over here to 2018. This does have a 373. This truck, the 2018 that I got, does not have the 342, I believe. Mine does have the 308 ratio, so it's going to be lower. But it does have a 7,200-pound rating. So it's up a decent amount. I don't do any towing, so that didn't necessarily matter to me. I would have rather the truck had the 342s just because I knew I was putting bigger wheels and tires on it. But for the deal I got, I couldn't pass it up. That was the only thing that I wasn't crazy about was the lower gear ratio but it's doing just fine with the 33, so no complaints. That's about it, that's pretty cool. We got the uh, old Dallas, Georgia down here. So that's pretty cool. I definitely, definitely really like the fact that this has the original window sticker, that's really cool. I have the original window sticker to this truck and all three of my Mustangs. The Taco had the original window sticker in it and I should have kept it, but I sold it with it, so I don't have it. And then of course my old F-150, it did not have anything in it. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty freaking cool to have this from 1997 with the truck. Definitely a cool thing. So I'm going to try to make this video not super duper long, or at least hopefully not longer than it already is. So y'all let me know what you think. Is, uh, do you have an old truck with your original window sticker? If so, comment down below what model you have, what year. I'm sure some of y'all probably have older ones than this. So that'd be really cool to, to hear about. So... Definitely leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. What do you think about the comparison? Kind of, I did a little bit of comparing, obviously, between the 97 and my 2018. So let me know what you think. And aside from that, I guess this is it, y'all. So y'all let me know what you think. I'll see y'all in the next one.